Hey guys, it's Shumu Dakar. Welcome back to the channel. So today is the first part of restoration of our Yamaha RX135. So today these all are the parts that are going to be installed on the Yamaha RX135. So if we talk about the parts that we are changing on the motorcycle today, these are four coil seals, four coil and four dust caps, and these are four dust boots, and these are the holders. You know, the motorcycle have currently painted in black color one, so we are replacing with the stock silver colors. and these are very rare to find like from morning i've been searching for these from different different shops and finally i got these and you know some rubbers for uh, the holders etc etc so these are the parts that are going to be installed on the motorcycle today along with that uh, the parts update guys i also got uh, got uh, the number plate the new number plate and also the gasket in here and also the bore gasket and uh, these two are stop lights which is when so these are two switches one at the front and one at the back so after installing these two when you break it your rear red light will be you know on so what and i also got another few parts which i placed under there i'm going to show you in my next video so a lot of parts are coming in you know service station the reason why i'm not doing this in the home because i don't have proper tools to remove the fork oil seals so that's why we're going to a good mechanic so he'll fix it So guys, this is the next day. Uh, as you can see, yesterday we we took the parts and went for a mechanic shop. And unfortunately, uh, I didn't have a chance to record the footage. So that's why, you know, I came back. And today we are are doing few other uh, things on the motorcycle. So just for you guys, you can see. Uh, so you can see uh, the washers are new one, uh, new headlight holders, new clamps, new fork boots. fork dust seals and new fork all seals inside so the front part got the stock look so rest of the bike we have to make it like that so now what we're going to do is check the piston size by opening the head and bore you know if it's necessary to do the rebore then we'll rebore it and we'll install new piston in it so the first thing what we have to do to unplug the spark plug cable you know i already made a video how to check the piston size Uh, and how to remove the head etc i'll leave that link in the description if you want to check it out how to remove the head so there is a clear video for that you can check it out later on but as of now uh, first remove this spark plug and just remove the four bolts blood is coming right there by removing it i uh, just hit the tank so you ha so you have to be very careful <coughs> with the help of this there is no need to remove the tank So with the help of ratchet kit I just removed all four bolts. Now it's time to remove the head. Have to remove it very carefully or else you will destroy the threads. Yeah. The head just came out like that. So we have all the four washers. Make sure you remove them or else if they were into the piston then again your piston will seize and it might damage the bore and head. So make sure these washers are out from the bore and also for the four bolts and here is the piston right there and um, this is the old gasket the copper one that we gonna replace it whenever we open the head so we just removed the cylinder head from the bore and now uh, when you use your kick shaft your piston will go up and down i hope you guys can see it yeah So now, after removing the head, you have to uh, get the piston to the top dead center. With a kick shaft, you can uh, make the piston to the top dead center. Now you can see all the carbon right there. And uh, after uh, keeping the piston at the top dead center, uh, use some fuel. You know, apply some fuel on it and wipe it off with a cloth, so that we can uh, see the piston size. So now you can see I. cleared the top surface of the piston so that's why you can see some shine on the piston and guys uh, one more sad news so as we expected uh, you know just now i removed the gasket and after removing it i got to know that this is a sleeve you can see the round circle which was not aligned perfectly also you can see the gap between the top portion and down portion it's supposed to be on a straight line but you know the guy who installed sleeve uh you know press the sleeve a bit inside so yeah it's a sleeved bore so as of now you can see i just uh, opened the piston head and i have seen the size it's about 0.25 right now 
and it's a sleeve by the way so i'm gonna do a rebore job you know it take lot of process remove the silencer and everything so what i'm gonna do i'll just rebore it and i'll reinstall the engine so after reinstalling the engine i'm gonna take the motorcycle to the painter for uh, the tank painting and the side panels painting and few other paintings here and there and we are changing the color of the engine also it's going to be in the gray gray blackish color so yeah once uh, the color and everything done so i'll see you guys in my next video until then ride safe be safe peace